gonna come here and blot my face because I realize now that I have like a light lighting situation, it just makes my face look so greasy. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I have another fashion video for you guys today. Um, you guys really liked my last try on haul as well as my capsule wardrobe um, video. So I thought I would come back and share a few more fun fall slash going into winter outfits. Some of these outfits are definitely for like just if you are going directly to a restaurant and you do not want to hang out outside in Vancouver. Although we are back in lockdown anyways, so there will be no restaurant visiting. Actually, I haven't been visiting any restaurants in general, but um, yeah, pretty much this is just an outfit for me to hang out at home and be cute and take photos in. <laughs> but these are the outfits that I would have worn if life was still normal and I was still out seeing my friends and going to restaurants and stuff, going to coffee shops, um, anywhere that's warm. These are still kind of fall outfits that are mildly appropriate for Vancouver weather. Before we head into the outfits, I just want to quickly say that this video is sponsored by Jing. I love working with Jing because they literally just let me pick whatever I want um, for different months and style them. I feel like they really don't put any restrictions on their creator's style and how they create their content. So I've been having a lot of fun exploring their brand, their products, as well as exploring my own style and kind of picking up pieces that I wouldn't necessarily um, go for on the day to day so that it really gives me a chance to spice up my outfits. I'm not gonna lie, although I've done several Jane try on hauls and styling videos already, I'm gonna say that the things that I picked out for November are probably my favorite pieces that I've picked out from them so far. There's just something about their knits, their sweater dresses, and their kind of like fall items that I am so completely obsessed with. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to share these new pieces with you guys. So without further ado, here are some of my favorite fall outfits for 2020. So the first piece that I picked out is this amazing black um, sweater dress. It has this lovely silver zipper detail um, that's kind of like a half zip, I guess. It goes right down to kind of mid chest for me. And I just think this is such a beautiful detail on what is seemingly a very, very basic um, knit black dress. I love that they didn't go overboard with the zippers. I find that a lot of brands are going overboard with their zippers and I feel like the ring zippers or like shaped zippers are just um, a little overdone. So I love that they kept that simple and then I love that when you zip it up it actually has a tiny bit of a mock neck. So I think that in itself is very flattering. So it's very versatile whether you do want to zip it up and wear it as a mock neck or if you just want to let it kind of hang for that more, um, it's almost like a preppy look when you have it unzipped. My favorite, favorite pairing with this dress has got to be this jacket. And I guess I might as well just mention it now. This is another piece from my November selects. This is their brown mensur coat. Oh, I kid you not. I kid you not when I say that I've been wearing this coat on repeat since I've gotten it. Um, and I think that I can probably pair that coat over every single outfit that I picked out in this video, but because I didn't want to kind of put out such a simple like solution and just kind of reuse the coat over and over, um, I switched it up for the other outfits but really truly this is such a versatile coat it is a wool kind of material and it is in this lovely trench coat uh, style so it's got this like oversized drop shoulder trench coat silhouette which is insanely insanely popular this year and has really come back into style i've been wanting to invest in a nice wool coat as well as a nice trench coat for a little while and the quality of this trench coat is just absolutely amazing like i think that this is 
probably the top piece, my favorite piece from them that I've ever received. And I think I'm gonna get tons and tons of wear for this jacket. Um, for like years to come. For outfit number two, it is very similar to the first outfit, but it's just a variation of that same style. So I wanted to kind of show the versatility of wearing either a dress or a black skirt um, with a tight top. So like an all black, like slim fit um, outfit with an oversized coat on top. For this outfit, I started with this little ruched skirt. Very, very simple, and I love picking kind of like basics um, whenever I do any collabs, just because I know that they're items that I will re-wear and I re will reuse in my closet. The top that I paired is a little bit more fun, but it also is something that you probably have seen quite a lot um, on Instagram and on YouTube over like the last year. And it's this collared ribbed sweater with a silver zip detail. I think that the shirt and the skirt paired up really, really cute. And um, to kind of switch it up from the chunky boots, because I know everybody is wearing chunky boots this year, I paired it with these slim square toed heeled boots for a more kind of like feminine and sexy look instead of going for, I feel like this outfit is still edgy actually, but in a different way. And then in, I mean, I say that I switched up my coats, but in reality, this is a very similar coat to the brown one that I wore earlier. I just threw over an oversized regular tan um, trench coat. Uh, again, it's very similar in silhouette, but I think when you switch up the material and texture between that classic trench coat material versus the wool kind of material, it really changes up a look. And then it also makes it feel a little bit less bulky because that thinner material hangs on your body differently. Um, I might just be psycho and noticing like the tiniest details, but I think those details really come into play for specific outfits. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Does it seem like the exact same vibe when I wear the wool coat versus the trench coat? Or does it seem pretty different? Because, no, I don't know. To me, it seems pretty different. The next outfit is also in a similar vein. So I picked out this amazing um, like pleather skirt from Jing. I think they do their skirts so well. Like they just really know how to spice up a basic item and make it a little bit more fun. In this case, they did a really subtle but like very edgy and punchy at the same time, like the zipper. Um, because when you have it zipped down, you just see it as a silver kind of like lining. And then when you have it zipped open, it really reveals just enough leg, I feel, for that little bit of sex appeal. And then on the top section, they added this interesting shape to the waistline as well. So I think that if you wore this with a really basic t-shirt on top, it almost gives off the feeling that you're wearing this like body corset on the bottom, which I think is very cool. And then to really just put the icing on the cake, um, I paired it with an oversized leather jacket. I think this whole outfit, mm, love it. This is like such a classic me outfit with the leather on leather and the black on black on black. Like this really brings me back to when I was 20, 21, 22, maybe. I just always wore all black outfits with leather. Um, so yeah, this is kind of like my elevated, sexier version of 20 year old Angel. The next couple pieces that I picked out, I promise, are not black. Um, I have two more pieces to show you guys. The first one is this gray sweater. <sighs> okay, I might have to reconsider my statement about the um, coat being my favorite because <sighs> I think this sweater, if it's not my favorite, it comes in close second. There's just something about the sweater that just hits different. <laughs> I don't know, it's it's just so cute. It reminds me of this um, Jacquemus, Jacquemus, Jacquemus? I don't know how to pronounce that brand, but this, um, I'll put the brand here. Um, this very expensive, luxurious brand that has another, that has a sweater that's similar to this silhouette on the, on the top. I think this like open, big, uh, zipped collar is very popular this year. And I think that Jing really, really did such a good one. Like I think they are very competitive compared to all the other styles that I've seen, whether it's from like a high street brand like Zara or whether it's from a luxurious brand like 
stuff that I see on like Essence and at Nordstrom and stuff. It's just the perfect sweater. It's my favorite sweater of the season. And if you guys were to purchase anything from this video, I would say get yourself the sweater because it's just so versatile. It really is so versatile. Wear it with the, uh, black leggings and like some um, ankle high socks and some sneakers. You've got this like cute, fun, almost like sporty look. Wear it with white pants like I did in this one that are a bit cropped. You've got more of like a relaxed, chill at home look, um, but elevated. Um, wear it with like a tight pair of black skinny jeans and some sexy sleek black heels and you've got a like elevated um, preppy going out look. I just think that this sweater is so so versatile and it's definitely a must have for your wardrobe this winter. The last item is another sweater and I feel like I talked up the gray sweater so much but truly this is an amazing sweater as well. Um, I just personally love how unique that other sweater is compared to this one where it's more of a basic uh, like cardigan style but I know that kind of having that very unique um, structure and neckline isn't for everyone. So I feel like for those of you who are just looking for a very basic, simple, like perfect casual sweater, this is the piece for you. This is the Otis sweater. It's so fun. It's slightly cropped. It ends kind of right um, above my hip and it doesn't have buttons all the way up. It just has the buttons, the two buttons right at the bottom. So it has this very dramatic, slouchy uh, V neckline in the front. The shoulders are like dramatically dropped, which I think works really well for sweaters. And then my favorite part has got to be the fun colored stitching detail. So we've got this blue stitching detail on one side and then red stitching detail on the other side. There's just something so fun and whimsical about the silhouette and the design and like the stitching of the sweater. Mm, I love it. It makes me feel like such a happy little kid and I'm all for things that make me feel like a child again, especially as I'm slowly getting older and older and um, you know, surpassing my <laughs> early 20s very soon. So yeah, really love this sweater. I think it's so cute. Um, I love pairing it with oversized jeans, a white uh, crop top, or again, you can pair it with something slimmer on the bottom, like a pair of black uh, skinny jeans or like some ripped skinny jeans, I think would be really cool. Um, but yeah, this is like one of those scenarios where I do like to do the oversized on oversized, because it just gives off this very fun, whimsical, casual, chillaxing, at home, like, but looking cute look, which, yeah, we all know that's all I'm doing these days, so yeah. If you guys are interested in any of these pieces, I have all of the links in the description box as per usual, but there is also going to be a Black Friday sale, of course. Jing is having their Black Friday sale this year from November 19th to November 29th, so 10 days. It would have already started um, by the time this video is up, so if you visit any of the links in the description box for any of the items, they should already be on sale. I believe all of their items are gonna be a minimum of 25% off, um, with like some items being up to 80 or 85% off, I believe, so such a great time to shop for these pieces. I wish I uploaded this video even a little bit earlier for you guys so you can get your hands on it, but seriously, like, I kid you not, the level of satisfaction I got from these items, I love every single piece so, so much, and yeah, I think you guys should just go shop. If you are seeing this video after Black Friday and you didn't get a chance to shop the sale, um, I do have a discount code with Jang. I do not make any affiliate dollars from it. It's purely for your enjoyment. So if you would like to use it, the code is JingAngel15 for 15% off. Um, I will include it in the description box as well in case you guys forget it or just wanna copy and paste it. Um, but you can use that at checkout for 15% off. I don't think it works with the sale, like the Black Friday sale, but yeah, again, if you're viewing this video and you missed the Black Friday sale, feel free to pick up any of these items with my discount code. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know which outfit you liked the best. 
um, whether it's like the baggy on baggy casual or you like the slim fitting sexier outfits more. I know everybody has such a different style, but I'm super interested in seeing what styles you guys are liking because then I can put together more outfits in that specific style. I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you in my next video. Bye!